Hey guys, what's up? Alex here in the York Borough in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Finally here after not being in this neighborhood for almost over a week. Or actually over a week, I should say. And I uh, want to see what the, see what has changed in this area. I've actually lived in this neighborhood all my life. And uh, two days ago, I was at Glen Park and Forest Hill, which is where I also live, but I change houses every week. That's something you guys may have known or not known already. And it's a, oh my gosh, it's a cloudy day today. It was, it was nice and cool, but then it turned cloudy in the evening. And it looks if it's going to uh, rain, it's going to rain later today. And since I haven't done a, a quick walking video in my neighborhood in such a long time, I figured why not, why not do something short, kind of like what I did on Sunday evening. So this is Silverthorne Avenue, right in the area of, well, near the intersections of Keel and Eglinton. So Keel Street would be to the west if you take this street here. I'm crossing at the last minute because I want to avoid people. Yeah, so if you go this way, you, you're going to find Keel Street. And if you continue north, you'll find Eglinton. And uh, where I started this video, I, I was standing on the other side of the street. Or across the street is a market or a store that's been there for decades. And if you continue down south, you'll find Rogers Road. And I've been meaning to do a walking video on Rogers for a really long time. You know, Rogers begins just west of here at Weston Road. And then it ends at Oakwood Avenue, just near my other area. So I'm going to think about doing that very soon. Now, I don't want to go to Rogers Road today. I want to go east over to Burt Robinson Park. Because... I might have done this in a previous video, but there is a underground tunnel. And if this neighborhood looks familiar to you, I've got many of these back in the fall. That was back in the second wave. And back in May, just near where the street ends, was where two cocksuckers, like, literally friends to call the fucking police on me. And speaking of the police, they're right there. They're right here, and I wonder what they're doing here. But yeah, if you guys are new to my channel, and there's literally an incident where two freaking cockroaches literally told me to get out of my neighborhood, even though I freaking live here. For Christ's sake, why why do people have to be so like rude? You know, I'm I'm saying that is there's a cop car right here, and uh, there's like like I don't know. Anyway. Enough of that. So this is a relatively quiet area of Toronto. Well, one of the more quieter areas, even though, you know, we're near both Keel and Eglinton. My other area is kind of noisy because, you know, you're right by the subway. You're right by Allen Road. And uh, also, Eglinton, you, you don't disappear when you're near Eglinton, you know, because it's... It's always been a total construction disaster for, you know, quite a while. Seen better days, but, you know, I've been meaning to go to, like, North York and, at least Eglinton and North York and Scarborough, because that's where, you know, the, the trains have been testing these, uh, the new vehicles. I was in Scarborough a week ago, I'm riding the RT, and, uh, you know, in my FA Transit video, you guys may remember that. By the way, I'm walking on, uh, Dunraven Drive. I think that's Dunraven. I should know this. I mean, I haven't. I know I haven't been here in so long, but why not? And I'm pretty sure I've said this in recent videos, but oh, a lot of people coming out of their houses today. Uh, so, like, as I was saying, this area might have might look like a typical San Francisco neighbor, according to according to Wikipedia. Look at the amount of hills. That it's, this area has and it's not just not not just that none of this ape this area is kind of stable it hasn't gentrified much especially on rogers road 
Okay, that's, that street has not been gentrified, and I'm going to talk about that when I do a video along there. But I have done I have done a bunch of filming the past few days. I went to downtown, I went to Scarborough and North York. And I want to go back to Scarborough just to like do a separate video on the uh, Scarborough RT. And I'm going away next week. Where am I going? I think I'll do a video before I actually go away, but it's going to be a kind of a road trip, but no vlog. I'm not going to film the rides, though. That man over there is the underground tunnel, and that goes underneath a go train line. Look how low these things are. That's a nice looking uh, 80s classic. I want to go over to that thing and see what that is. Is that a Cadillac? Cutlass Supreme. Man, that's gorgeous. Oh yeah, in some of the streets of this neighborhood, they cut. So that's Blackburn Avenue, but then it becomes Donald Avenue, and then Blackburn continues right here. And by the way, once we exit out of the tunnel, we'll be in the Fairbank area, but I think it has a different name, at least for this part. And then you'll find Caledonia Road. And I'm trying to think of what to do this week. I'm going to visit someone in near Cambridge. But uh, I don't think I'll get any video. Look, there's an old sign right there. City of York bylaw. Don't forget, like I said before, York used to be its own city along with North York, Scarborough, and East York. My voice is echoing. Look, stoop and scoop. These are freaking old signs. And it feels kind of cold in this tunnel. There's a tunnel. You guys are gonna sit right by the tunnel when you look at my age. Maybe I'll circle back. Because I'm pretty sure they saw me when I was doing it. Or maybe they'll head down to Rogers, who knows? Who knows? Yeah, so just wanted to take a quick walk around to see what's new or not new. Because, you know, like I said, I haven't been here in so long. Yep, that's Caledonia Road. And most of the houses here are just typical bungalows or two-story houses or even actually most of these houses here are semi-detached meaning it's the same property but they're both detached to each other and some of them look very similar to the inside especially in places like Mississauga and Brampton. I used to have a family member that lived in a typical Brampton house and it was semi-detached. 
See, e even the interiors of these houses right here could be similar. I don't think I've walked down here before. In fact, Caledonia is rather boring. Maybe not north of Lawrence, but right here, sure. But what the hell, this is my neighborhood. Oh, look at that. So that'll be Eglinton at the lights right out there. There's the radio tower. Ow, I put my legs there. Ow. Why the hell are my legs cramping? And this, by the way, this video was a spur of the moment, so I was not gonna do this, but why not? I haven't done this year. Kind of similar to what I did on Sunday over at Glen Park. Summit Avenue. Bus, there's a bus up here, served by the 47 Lansdowne. And I think that route will split into two separate routes when Line 5 opens next year. Don't forget, there's going to be an LRT station over here called Caledonia, which will connect to the GO Train Berry Line, I think. Okay, I'm very close to ending this video. I didn't want it to be long anyway. And what the hell is this car doing blocking the sidewalk? Ah, he's got enough. There's a school up ahead, a public school. I think it's F.H. Miller. I, <laughs> I never went here for school. I, I, I would always go to school in North York. Not here, surprisingly. And uh, south of here would be the old city of Toronto. So you can tell that you changed boroughs because of the street lights up ahead. So, so, so these are like typical suburban streetlights that you would find in areas like here or in North York. Then the streetlights change into like what it, what it looked like probably back in the 60s or 70s, I think. So that would indicate that you're in the old city of Toronto. So mind you, if, uh, if this was before like free algamation like 1995 or something then uh this would be a suburb this would be a suburb of toronto maybe you can still call them suburbs when i say suburbs i i would call it like tobacco uh, north york scarborough look there's an old school uh like variety store anyway but uh I wouldn't really call this part of the suburbs a suburb. I mean, what am I saying? Man. I don't know what this guy is doing here. But that thing is loud though. Hey, this guy's from Manitoba. He drove a long ass way here from Manitoba. That's really far, really far drive. F.H. Miller, I think he was a mayor of the city, I think. I don't know, but I'm pretty sure he's a politician from Toronto, I'm pretty sure. Anyway, we have come to Rogers Road which is ungentrified but I'll be sure to do a video here very soon I hope just walk the entire length 
Uh, new house you're building right here. And this house here is for sale. That's the 161 bus going to Ossington Station, which is at Lauren Ossington. See, look right here. That's the 161. I'll take you down here. Well, that's the downtown map right there. So, uh, and here's a little snippet of businesses that probably might have been here for decades on Rogers. Okay, I'm going to end the. Ooh, they've uh, they've made this pavement. I think they're going to repave this here. Look, there's no more bicycle lanes here. See, so, so, so they did change stuff, some stuff around here. Looks like they're going to repave the road, just like what I saw on Riddell Avenue in uh, Forest Hill. They're going to do something like this here. Look, they go on for uh, quite a while, as you can see here. There's so many damn trucks here, too. So many of them. And it's so loud as well. that over there is the bridge which has been uh, repainted over to include the logos associated with Metrolinx like Up Express which is that's not the Up Express that's the other well it goes underneath Rogers Road near it's uh, termination look Metrolinx go presto Up Express this is the go transit bridge not the Up Express I'm pretty sure someone was doing another walking video here and thought this is the Up Express but it's not. It's, 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 just, it's just not the Up Express. Hey! Is that a Ferrari sighting? Is that a Ferrari or a Porsche? I say it's, I say it's a Ferrari. Let's go and see. My gosh. That thing is exotic. One thing, that, that's probably, that's probably what you would see in New Yorkville. I was there the other day. Oh god, it's looking like a racing car. Or is it a Lamborghini? Okay. Or is that... Okay, that that has to be a Lamborghini. Yes, it's a Lamborghini. I was wrong. I saw the Italian flag on this thing. That's a Lambo. And the Ontario license plate with uh, red lettering. I wonder why some cars don't have their license plates on the front. Because sometimes when they don't have the license plates in the front, that means they're from that, that means they're out of, they're from out of province, like Quebec or something. But man, it's just exotic. Wow. I gotta snap a picture of this right here in my area. You know. Okay. Thanks for watching, guys. Leave a like if you enjoyed and comment and subscribe, guys. Please subscribe if you haven't already, because. Most of my viewers are not subscribed to this channel. So please, do me a favor, all means. Share your support, I appreciate it. And I have a review here. And I'm not gonna, and uh, I'm sure, like, you guys remember my Go Train videos? I'm not, gonna really, I'm not gonna really do that anymore. It's just all the same places. Maybe I'll go to, like, Lakeshore East or Stillville, but... Ah, I'm done with filming them around here. So yeah, thanks for watching, and I will catch you guys in the next one, alright? Peace out.